Origami Yoda and the Twist by Sarah. Rondella and Amy and I sat at one table in the library every morning uh, before school, and Kellen and Tommy and all those guys sit at the next table. They are noisy and annoying and spend half their time blabbing at us. We've talked about moving tables, but we haven't, and I think it may be because Rondella doesn't mind Kellen trying to flirt with her as much as she says she does. And Amy and Lance often end up talking about science fiction and stuff. I may have my own research for staying too, but that's my business. If nothing else, it gives us something to laugh about, usually Harvey. So this one time, the guys were fussing at Dwight about Origami Yoda. Dwight was loving it. He loves to play dumb, but he's got this sly smirk on his face. He's my next door neighbor, so I've been seeing that sly smirk for about 10 years. Have I told you before that the holes he digs in his backyard just digs them and then sits in them and then fill, fills them back up? He may not be dumb, but he is definitely weird. The first we, time we saw him at school with the Yoda finger puppet, Rondella and Amy were like, that's so weird. And I was like, not compared to sitting in holes all day. Anyways, Dwight was totally digging all the attention he and Yoda were give, getting. I can't help it, he was saying. If that's what Origami Yoda says, then that's what he says. But it doesn't make any sense, groaned Kellen. I asked him where I lost my jacket, and he's like, the twist you just learn. That's all he says to anyone, said Tommy. I tried to ask him something too. And so did Lance. At first, I thought it was really the answer to my question, but he kept on saying it. I think he's lost it. He never had it, said Harvey. They kept yammering like that for a while, and we tried to ignore them. Then Dwight gets up and comes over to our table with Yoda on his finger and says, The twist you must learn. Then he goes over to the next table and the next, and pretty soon he has told everyone in the library to learn the twist. Then he left the library, apparently, to spread Yoda's wisdom to the rest of the school. Like I said, after 10 years, I've gotten used to it. So what is the twist? I asked Tommy. I don't have any idea, he says. Why don't you Google it? Asked Amy. All the computers were taken, but Lance was using one. So... Tommy and Kellen went over to ask him to look it up. Too bad they didn't ask me, said Harvey. I know all about it. Big surprise. Harvey thinks he knows everything. The twist was a song of the Spider-Man 3 soundtrack, he said. Wait a minute, said Rondella. You brought the Spider-Man soundtrack? Spider-Man 3, of course. I have the ones from those two, too. We looked at each other and tried not to giggle. Don't you remember the part in the movie when we turned him out? Kellen and Tommy came back and told us it was some old song and Harvey goes we already know that that acted like an idiot as usual and the bells rang maybe we do need to move to another table or another room or another school at night Amy was over at my house for supper and so was my grandmother my grandmother is at our house all the time now that she and my granddad got divorced Amy and I were looking up stuff on YouTube, and we couldn't think of anything else to look up. Then, Amy said, why don't you look up the twist? You really think it's on here? I asked, but I was already typing it in. There were tons of twist videos, it turns out. We picked one, of, a, and a guy comes on, like, from a real old TV show, and says, come on, baby, let's do the twist. Then, they start playing this song, really old-timey, but not bad i guess that's when my ma grandmother pops in are you two doing the twist up here we're listening to it no you can't just listen to the twist you gotta get up and do it and she sort of squatted down and started wiggling her knees back and forth and waving her hands i wasn't too embarrassed i've gotten used to her doing st strange stuff in front of my friends but then she started singing along but changing the words come on little sarah and her friend Amy. It didn't even match the song. She kept on singing and insisting that we try it too. So we did, and it turned out to be fun. Once you start swinging your knees and your arms to the beat, it's pretty easy. 
We had just started getting into it when it was time for supper, but my grandmother wanted to keep dancing. My parents were going out that night, so after supper, I called Rondella to come over, and she, Amy, and my grandmother and I did all kinds of crazy dance dances that grandma used to do when she was a kid, and she had a great time, and seriously, I hadn't seen my grandma that happy in a long time, not since the divorce and not before it either. I don't think how... I don't know how Dwight or Origami Yoda could have known it would work out like that, but it did, and it was awesome. Harvey's comment. Excuse me while I get a tissue. A tear is rolling slowly down my cheek after reading that. It's like a Hallmark Channel movie. It's so beautiful. My comment, well, maybe it is beautiful. It does sound like a lot of fun. However, I wish Origami Yoda had just told Sarah about the twist and not everyone else because I wasted half an hour in my room practicing it by myself.